The overall ambition from a big picture is that Fairmont was back in the game. We took the opportunity to push the boundaries because any new developers, owners, stakeholders that are having meetings at the corporate office stay in the Fairmont Royal York. We wanted to show everybody who the new Fairmont is. So the transformation of Fairmont Rural York over the past several years has been just an incredible project. This five-year journey that we've been on has been not just about a physical renovation to the hotel, but really about repositioning this property as the true icon of Toronto and really one of the signature hotels of the Fairmont brand globally. My role at the Fairmont Royal York was designing all the public spaces, which was the lobby, the reception, the restaurant, and also the conference and mall rooms. Our ambitions for this project was to really create a centerpiece to the entire property. The lobby is this magnificent landmark space, and for us to create this iconic clock tower, um, it really gave a center of gravity to the project and really gave a pulse to the, to the hotel. Operations are really key to having a hotel that works properly, obviously. We can design all day and it could be nothing if it doesn't operate fully. Working really closely with design and technical services, as well as all the consultants, making sure that the bars work properly, the back of house is integrated, all that's key to having a property that looks great but also works great. So my role is to ensure that we're looking forward because we really try and deliver interiors that are still relative 10 years from now. I essentially touch every piece that goes into the room just to ensure that we're delivering a property or a renovation that's on brand because a project is actually much more profitable for the owner and the brand if it's on point. We love working in these iconic hotels because they have such a great story to tell. And here being in charge of these gold floors and really taking them to the next level, right? Introducing them to their next generation of clientele was hugely important to us. There's so much legacy to build on and the real fun part of the puzzle is to take that legacy and figure out how to move it forward and make it, it relevant for today's traveler, tomorrow's traveler, but really celebrate the history of, of the property. We wanted these suites to feel as if they were the finest residential apartments in Toronto. So everything became about attention to detail, a uh, sense of luxury, um, beautiful bespoke furnishings, custom, custom, custom. So it's a really sort of layered story towards the design. We've had a great relationship with Accor Design and Technical Services. This is. Um, design leadership that allows the designers to design. They're working alongside them closely. They're really coming to us because they want us to do our jobs and they're helping us do our jobs better. They're helping draw vision from us. They're helping us be more creative and they're pushing us and I think that's really important. Working with a core design and technical services is an amazing experience. Each and every member of that team that's worked on this project has given their heart and soul to make sure that every possible detail is looked at. And we really see them as just an extension of the hotel team at the end of the day. Uh, and certainly we could not uh, have successfully executed this project without their support.